Gucci, everybody. It's your boy, SJK. Out the first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. Shouts out to that roar. Shouts out to that epic roar. It is your boy, K-Dot, the first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. Back here with a Godzilla King of the Monsters spoiler-free review. This is spoiler-free. We will not be having spoilers in here. Spoiler-free reviews strictly. Spoiler-free. Just know. We're going to go ahead and get into this review of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys have fun with it. Hope you guys are ready to get litty like you guys know the rest. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get into this now. Let me talk about this film basically. Let me give you a rundown of the story. This story is basically, and these scenes were in the trailer. We all know King Ghidorah was going to be in this film. We know Godzilla was going to be in this film. We know Mothra was going to be in this film. We know Rodan was going to be in this film. We know these were the four vocal monsters in this movie. Now, um, the, the driving monsters of this film. This is the best way to explain this movie. This movie is basically foreign monster comes to this monster's territory. This monster is like, yo, why are you in my territory? You need to step off and get up out of here. Huh. This monster is like, huh. freak that, bro. This is my city. I run this. Other monster, psh, you think you're the king? I'm the king of this block. You know what? I'm about to knock you down a peg and show you who the real king is. That's basically the movie. Foreign monster, King Ghidorah, comes to try and uh, take his spot as the king. Godzilla, psh, he's not down with that. He's not exactly king just yet. But he's going to let him know. You're sitting on my throne. I'm about to come dethrone you. That's basically what this movie is. This movie is about Godzilla. Godzilla strictly nobody else, no humans, because that's what I focused on. I don't care about the humans. Now, I'll say this about the movie. That nuclear, for you know, anti-war protesting. You know, to let people know, like, hey, we feel some type of way. This character is that character that represents the bomb that you dropped on us, her in innocence, millions of people. Godzilla is the representation of the nuclear bomb that dropped on us. But with a different spin on it, being more of nature and not man and not man's mistake. That's how I look at it. Alright. Let me basically get the pros of the movie out the way. My pros. The biggest pro, the action. The action had me in. The action had me. There was one scene in this movie where Loki gave me a jump scare. <laughs> Don't play with me like that movie. Freak you. <laughs> this movie got a, a small jump scare. I can't say, but it gave me a jump scare. I was like, what the freak? Um, one more thing. The score of this film, the theme. The 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 score and the theme songs that played, especially for Godzilla and Mothra. What I noticed with Mothra, they played Mothra's original theme song from uh her first appearance in her film. From her not not the American Godzilla films, but in the Japanese Godzilla films. They played Mothra's original theme and they played Godzilla's original theme. I appreciated that. I was like, Y'all really did it. Giving us a little bit of that fan service. Fan service just a little bit. Not too much. But you guys. The biggest point of this movie. Is to see Godzilla. Go to war. Establish who he's king. That's all I cared about in this movie. I didn't. I'll get to the story and dialogue in a second. But the score. I thought it was epic. It low key gave me. If, if you're a fan of watching J-dramas. Korean, you know, the little action, a, a Asian action shows, even anime, and you got your uh, anime character with a certain theme song, and that theme just hypes up that character. It just hypes it up, and then when you see that character enter on screen, and you 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 hear their theme playing, and it just hypes them up, and it hypes you up. They was doing just that for Godzilla, and I felt really hyped up. I was like, what the freak? This is the turn up right now. You're really turning me up. You're 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 hyping me up really hard and that's what i appreciate about this movie when godzilla came on screen you had the visual epicness and i like the cg this time around it was clear 
it was clear. Like, you can really see some of the details in Godzilla's face. You can see the details in uh, Ghidorah's face. You see you see the details there. I was like, hmm, I like it. Because in Godzilla 2014, it was trying to make it... Sp- I didn't really like the fact that Godzilla 2014 CG was really dark. And it was really trying to mask the fact of hiding Godzilla in a way. Not showing you too much of his detail. But in this movie... They was like, you know what? We're just going to shine, make him shine bright and show you everything. Go ahead. Man, I saw Godzilla's freaking stubby little feet. Dang, Godzilla got some nasty little feet. Them things nasty, bro. But the score, the visuals, epic. Action, tight. Bro, when Godzilla goes up against Ghidorah, he be doing some takedowns on him. I ain't finna say. <laughs> but the takedowns are <sighs> crazy. Just crazy. But that's pretty much it from the pros. The biggest pros was exactly what I expect out of a Godzilla film. And what it did a little bit better than the last two films, Colin Skull Island and um, Godzilla 2014. Improved action. More action. You showed the monsters more. You extended the scenes with the monsters more. They kind of... Did what Kong what we needed what Kong Skull Island did where Godzilla twenty fourteen didn't know didn't do show us enough of the monster like in Kong twenty bruh in Kong Skull Island as soon as Kong showed up <laughs> Kong was there even though the movie had its issues those are that's a troubling movie had its issues now I want to get to the biggest flaw of this movie is the human portion. There was a story, there was a plot, a subplot in this movie that they could have taken out because it was so boring. It wasn't boring. It was just like, I ain't interested. Get it out of here. This is unnecessary. This 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 whole thing is unnecessary. Y'all need to cut this out. Monsters are freaking taking over. There's a subplot in this movie that has to do with, let me show you the actors. Let me just show you the actors. Give you a little rundown of the list of the actors. Because I got to show you the list of the actors. This subplot has to do with Kyle Chandler's character, Vera Farmiga, and Millie Bobby Brown. Mark Russell, Dr. Emma Russell, and Madison Russell. Now, I like Mark Russell. But I'll tell you why I like Mark Russell. I only liked Mark Russell when he was talking about Godzilla and giving lore and background to the way these monsters act in this world. Ken Watanabe. Ken Watanabe was also another standout character of mine that I like. Ken Watanabe, who played Dr. Ichido Serizawa. There's only three characters I cared about in this movie. Ziyi Zhang, Ken Watanabe, and Kyle Chandler. Kyle Chandler played Mark Russell. Ken Watanabe played Dr. Ishido Serizawa, and Zi Zhang played Dr. Eileen Chen and Dr. Lin. I can't talk about the callback they did with her specifically, linked directly to Mothra, but the OG Godzilla fans know what that callback was. I like Ken Watanabe's character. Zi Zhang and Kyle Chandler's character only when they were bring because of this. The scenes I appreciated in them in was when they focused on the issue: Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, Rodan, and the Lord Beyond. They was giving history. They was giving us a history course of these monsters, and I appreciated that. But there was a problem when the the three, the uh the the the, the freaking family. The family that has to do with Kyle Chandler's character, Mark Russell, Dr. Emma Russell, and Madison Russell. They had a subplot that was irrelevant. It's like, I do not care. Get it out of here. I don't care about you and your little family issue. Shut up with it. I don't care. Get it out of the movie. That's the only thing that really annoyed me about this movie. Other than that, the acting, eh. The one person who I say had the most solid acting, well, the two people I liked was really the only the only two Asian people, Zi Zhang and Ken Watanabe. I don't like them because they was giving me some old school 
Godzilla throwbacks. They seemed like they was way more invested into the lore of Godzilla. They cared more about the situation. They was in total shock in all these monsters. They respected the fact that these monsters are not just creatures that we can destroy and discard. These creatures was here before us. These creatures are going to coexist with us whether we like it or not. And it's just going to go like that. And we're just going to have to deal with it and make it work. That's what Monarch is trying to do. That what Ken Watanabe character trying to push is that these monsters are not what we... We can't just do something. We, we, we can't just say, oh, let's just discard these creatures. We can't. We got to try and make it work. You know? Um, I really don't want to give up too much. But out of this movie, I appreciated Mark Russell, Ken Watanabe, and Dr. Uh, Dr. Irene Chen, who, uh, Zi Zhang, because they were more, more focused on, well, except for Mark Russell, because he was, but when he was talking about Godzilla, had me interested, had me interested, had me interested. Um, you had some moments in there where characters trying to be comedic and throw some comedy in there that was kind of unnecessary, but it wasn't too much. It wasn't too much. I would say in the later half, when the the battle started to be to begin, that's when a little bit of hints of comedy came up, but it wasn't too much to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Freaking monsters are fighting, you're cracking jokes. It wasn't that serious, not for me. It wasn't that serious for me, but it wasn't needed. But I was okay with what it was because it was too much. They could have went full on freaking. They could have went full on MCU level of comedy. And they could have totally drew me out of the film because they tried to go with realistic origins for these monsters. And this I, I cannot talk about the lore behind the monsters because the lore behind the monsters is probably the best part. And I can't really, I just want to focus on, we got to keep it strictly focused on Godzilla, Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra. Ghidorah was a beast. Rodan, I'll, we'll talk about Rodan later. Mothra, shouts out to Mothra. Support, Godzilla, King. Let me get on Rodan, bruh. Rodan, hold this L. Rodan got to hold an L for being such a useless person. Well, beast. That's all I'll say. Pretty useless. I'm just saying. Ghidorah's allies were whack. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Godzilla. When they showed his in Godzilla and visuals, and I can see his cracks, I can see the freaking uh cuts and bruises. Man, I was like, man, y'all trying to show off now. I liked it. I liked it. But the best part was, bruh, this was giving me some old school Japanese vibes, like Japanese media vibes. For example, if you had an anime or a Japanese drama that maybe dealt with, it was a Japanese action drama, right? And the characters get iconic themes to hype them up. For example, Godzilla, you guys, you'll get hyped. It'll be like a whole freaking... It's just like how you get hyped if you was at a boxing match. You know, you, you, they, they, uh, uh, the people come out, they'll, uh, they're walking to the, uh, they're walking to the mat, they're walking to the ring, and they're playing their, uh, their, their intro walk-up song. And like, yeah, it's basically was that. And I was like, this is nice. This is nice. Down to the sound. <sighs> I wish I, I saw this in standard. I, I need to watch this in Dolby next. Dolby. I'm actually need to watch it in there because, bro, the sound was nice. The roars, the way they was colliding with buildings, nice. The visuals, the movements. One thing I'll say, the best parts of this movie was the fact that the characters that are linked to Monarch in this film focused on the lore the three characters i had problems with that brought up that whole family issue millie bobby brown's character vera farmiga and kyle chandler when they went in their whole little 
family mode. Let's get out of here with that. Just, just shut up. I don't care about your freaking family feud. Get out of here. Millie Bobby Brown, she didn't need to be in this movie. She did not need to be in this movie. She was useless. She was only here because she was she was she's hot off Stranger Things. She's popular and people want to see her. Millie Bobby Brown was totally used. I think they only put her in this movie to get more people to come to see this film. But in my opinion, this is a film where you strictly come to watch to see Godzilla go head up. Now, I'm going to have to be real with you guys. You cannot, look, in Godzilla films, I always accepted this. Humans are going to be there. Humans are going to be there because these companies are not going to give you a two-hour or a one-hour movie of monsters strictly fighting and there is no story development. They're not going to start the movie immediately with two monsters collide. I mean, they can. They could. I mean, I would watch it, to be honest. But uh, movie girls are going to be all like, oh, man, I mean, it needs a something. But let's be honest. If, it, if, if, if these companies came out with a Titan movie, with if they gave me a freaking Pacific Rim and Godzilla movie, and it was just them fighting for two hours straight, I would go watch that. I mean, I would. I'm going to be honest with you, because I come to watch these Godzilla movies to see Titans go head up and hurt each other and freaking demolish each other. This is the reason I go watch these movies. And this movie gave me that. And, and her, I can't talk about Ghidorah's situation because that would be spoilers. I can't talk about too much of Godzilla's situation. But what I'll say is, the worst parts of this movie was the family situation between Mark Russell, Dr. Emma Russell, and Madison Russell. Boring. If they took that out and strictly focused on monsters, because there's another subplot that has to do with this group. But I cannot spoil that. I don't want to talk about that because then it would be a spoiler. There's another group in this movie. There's another group in this movie that are linked to the kaijus. That are doing something with the kaijus. But I can't talk about that group. It would be spoilers if I talked about them. I can't give away too much. I cannot. I cannot. But I, what I'll say is you're going to get some action. I don't even want to spoil it, but the, what's the best way for me to tease it? <sighs> okay, I'll say this. Godzilla is going to be a beast. That's all I'll say. He's going to... Ah! That's your only hint. But just know, Godzilla was a beast in this movie, bruh. He was a beast. One thing I'll say, I wish there was an alternative, but it gave me a little bit of hope. The The post credit scene gave me a little bit of hope, but I can't talk about that. post credit scene gave me a little bit of hope for the future of bringing back somebody. Gave me some hope. Uh, next film after this is Kong versus Godzilla. After seeing this movie, Kong officially has no chance. I'm just saying, Kong has no chance. After seeing what Godzilla did in this movie, Kong has no chance. Kong better have some kind of powers. If Kong's powers is punching, that ain't gonna cut it. Kong better have some powers. He better have some type of ability. He better. I'm just saying, Kong better have some powers. Uh Oh. Another thing, Vera Farmiga and Kyle Chandler. Kyle Chandler in this movie was only good to me when he was talking about the lore and history of the monsters. That was it. Those are the two things that really irritated me in this film. Some human choices. Some of the choices by the people. And when I do my spoiler review, I'll talk about it. Some of the choices. But when it comes to the whole supply with the family, boring. Get it out of here. Useless. I only care about the monsters. But I was able to tune myself out of it and be all like, eh, you ain't really care. But I'll say this much. When Kyle Chandler only talked about Godzilla, the lore, and the background of these of the monsters, that was it. 
when Kyle Chandler brought up stuff about his family, boring. Shut up. I don't care. Shut up. But other than that, B minus. Dope score. The theme songs of the characters paying homage to the old Godzilla films. I liked it. Old school. Went back to it. Godzilla's OG theme. Tight. The action scenes, better. The visuals, clearer monsters. Loved it. I can see the details and Godzilla's freaking cracks and stuff. And the monster designs, sweet. But I can't talk about that because... If I get into more of the monsters, that's spoilers. Like, they're spoilers because there's more to it than just Godzilla and the monsters you've seen in the trailer. There's more to it. But I like this. I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. It was there, and it was a little bit of disrespect when Millie Bobby Brown, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, Amelia Russell, and Mark Russell's character was trying to override this movie. They almost did. But nah, it wasn't enough to take away from the king because Godzilla, he has some epic moments in this movie. But you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy k -Dot. I give this movie a B-. minus. Hope you enjoy it. Um, Hope you enjoy the film. Hope you enjoy the film. Go watch it. Next time, go watch this in Dolby. IMAX, go watch it in that because you need to watch it in that. Well, this isn't in Dolby at the moment. But go watch an IMAX, though. But uh, look, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You guys have a very good day. Go through that peace, love, posse all the time. Don't do drugs. Please don't do drugs. Godzilla, king of the monsters, was litty to the freaking city. And like I got to do, man, I got to get that screenshot for you guys for that thumbnail. Yeah. Stamp of approval. Boom. That's for the thumbnail. Hope you enjoyed the video. Deuces, everybody.